So you want to be a college athlete? Well, here are six tips to help you be successful once you get there. Hey guys, this is Josh and I know it all. So if you guys do me a favor really quickly, you know, hammer the like button, leave a comment down below on what you think are some good tips for being successful in college, especially if you're an athlete, and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. So guys, once again, we're coming at you with six tips I've got for you on how to be successful as an athlete in college. Now, first one right off the bat, this should be a no-brainer. This should be obvious, but it's not. This is something that you as an athlete should start doing in high school before you get to college, and that is getting in the weight room, getting stronger, getting bigger. You know, it just is what it is. If you want to compete at the highest level possible, you need to be in the weight room, you know, especially with baseball, softball, basketball, football. I mean, really any sport at the college level, you need to be in the weight room and you need to be working hard. You need to really be focusing on ways to get stronger all over your body. You know, don't just focus on one area. The whole body needs to get stronger. It will help you as an athlete. And too many athletes, especially in high school, kind of breeze past the weight room. They don't put in the time and the effort they need to in order to be successful in the future. Yes, a talented high school athlete can dominate at the high school level. But when you get to college, things are different. Everybody there dominated high school. Everybody there has been the best at their school. Things change. When you get to college, you're playing with better athletes and you need to be physically stronger. Okay, second tip I have for you is you need to compete. You need to go out there and compete at really everything you do. You're playing board games with your friends, compete. Go out there, when you're in the weight room, compete. When you're at practice, compete. When you're on the field, compete, compete, compete. That will make you a better athlete. It'll make you stronger, make you smarter, make you understand the game and what's going on around you. Compete and show the coaches that you want to be there. It helps them when they're, when they're making their lineup to see who wants to be there, who's got the drive, who's got the effort. Go out there and compete. That's how you're going to be successful is if you are constantly competing and that's how you're going to get better. Okay, the third thing I have for you is understand that failure is not the worst thing in the world. You are going to fail. You're going to fail at a lot of things. Not just athletics, you're going to fail probably in academics in some way or another. You're going to fail when you're trying to get a job in your future. You're going to have failure. That is not just an end. That is an opportunity to grow, to learn, to improve on the areas that you failed in. You know, a lot of people will look at making an error, making a mistake. That is a failure, but it's not the end of the road. There are things you can do to improve, to keep getting better. Don't see failure as an end point. See it as a chance to grow. And once again, see it as an opportunity to get better. Okay, guys, fourth tip I have for you is understand yourself. Understand your abilities. It's important to know your body, know how it feels, how it moves, what things you can do, which things you can't do. When you know the things you can't do, but you can maybe work on that and improve so you can do them, it makes a big difference. You've got to take the time to understand who you are. You know, you, for basketball, and if you're if you're going out there and trying to shoot three-pointers all day long, but you can't hit a three-pointer to save your life, you need to know that. You need to understand who you are as an athlete. Uh, same thing for baseball. If you're out there trying to throw 100 miles per hour and blow it by guys, but you're only hitting 82, 83, you gotta be smarter as a pitcher. You gotta know who you are. You gotta know to be able to use the corners of the plate to use your off-speed stuff. Know who you are, know where your strengths are, and then improve your weaknesses so that way you can do more things. But first of all, know who you are and be realistic with that. Okay, tip number five I've got for you, and this is all about the grind. This is, I covered junior college, Juco baseball, and nowhere is it more evident 
the grind in sports every day, the weights, the fielding practice, the hitting practice, just the, everything they do, it's a grind. Fall in love with that. Enjoy it. Love it. Understand that that, that is going to be a part of your life in college athletics and make it something you enjoy. Make it something that you love to do. If you don't, you're going to hate every day. You're going to hate it. You're going to hate the weight room. You're going to hate practice. You're going to hate games even. Learn to love the process. If you love the process, it makes it easier to do it day in and day out. And yes, it, it may seem weird to, to love the process, to love the grind. But if you can do that, if you can get yourself to realize that this is a good thing, this is something that's making you stronger, better, it's, it's developing you as an individual, love it, enjoy it, work through the process, keep doing it. It's important to go through that and to get through the grind. Tip number six, and this is one of my favorites because I actually had a couple different coaches that I, I know and interact with mention this when I asked for different tips and advice that they would give to athletes in high school starting college. And the word is very simple, win. Go out there and win. And, and I love it because one of the coaches said win and they clarified it with this. Win in the classroom, win in the community, win at practice. If you can win those three things, you're going to be successful. If you can win in the classroom, man, that's all about, that's what you're there for. You're there to get an education so that way you can be successful after college. Because let's be honest, although there are some of you out there that will play professional sports, most of you won't. Most of you will go professional in something other than athletics. So be successful and win in the classroom. It will help you win after you're done with the classroom. Win in the community. This is one I love. Give back and work in the community and be a winner there. I love seeing, you know, I live in Kelso, Washington, so my wife actually works at Lower Columbia, and they have a softball team there that every year the entire team goes and volunteers uh, on some project in the area whether it's painting or cleaning up someone's yard, they are out there working, giving back. I love to see that. They are winning in the community. Centralia Baseball does the same thing. They, they go out there and they volunteer time helping to fix up the park right near the field. They're, they spend time volunteering and they win in the community. And I see dozens and dozens of softball and baseball teams and, and teams from other sports here in the Northwest that do that. They win in the community. They give back. They they are just supporters of helping make their community better. And so that's a win. So I love that. And then obviously win in practice. When you're at practice, win. Do what you have to do to win. Get out there, get better. Win every day. Now, Lower Columbia, their baseball team has a, a, slant, a saying, win any way. And it doesn't mean go out there and be dirty. It doesn't mean go out there and, and undercut other teams. It just means do what you have to do to win. Work hard in the weight room. Compete. Understand that failure is something that you need to grow from. You know, understand who you are. Win at these things. Understand when the grind, when the practice, go out there. So I, I love those. I love that statement. Win. Win wherever you're at. And once again, winning doesn't mean beating other people. Winning sometimes means growing and helping other people win with you. Win as a team. Wherever you're at win and help others win. So guys, those are just six things I have for you to help you be successful once you get to college. Those things aren't limited just to college athletics. If you're in high school, take these same things and, and apply them to who you are now and it will help you in the future. I promise you it will help you in the future. So guys, once again, I'm Josh and I know it all. These are six tips I have for you to help you be successful in college athletics.